got the F-250, we got Jordan's engine, we got Big Bertha over here, yeah, we Big are Bertha. Big Bertha dude, Big you know? Bertha. But we are ready to drift, we have been prepping all week for this and I am amped on this dude, that thing is sick. We got the Ricer Miata, we got the LS drift car and we are ready for some fun. So let's unload these and I guess get them tacked, I'm a little nervous about this windshield. say is f that magic eight ball if you guys watched yesterday's video you already know what's up the magic eight ball said i wasn't going to actually um pass tech they looked at the car they said you got any plans to fix that windshield soon i said promise you next event it'll be fixed and they said you're good to go a a i'm a little nervous that i put myself in a but a i guess is the only one that you can actually have passenger with and i want to take my friends for it along i'm confident with this i know i can hang with this it's just this car is so different now and the gearing and everything that I'm just worried that it will look like an idiot and spin out, but it's all for fun, man. We're here to learn and um, we're here just to kind of break in the cars, see what we need to fix, see what we can do better and all of that stuff. I've never drifted with 255s on this car before, so that's gonna be interesting. We got new tires in the front and this is 205 all around for now, but we have a bunch of extra wheels back there so today should be awesome it looks like it's gonna rain sometime around 10 o'clock but i guess it goes till midnight jesus i'm not getting home till 4 a.m again damn well guys we haven't even started drifting yet and it is already raining this sucks first drift event in over a year and a half and it's raining right now but i guess we're gonna save a bunch of money on tires i don't have um wipers on the e36 idiot Hey guys, this is great. I haven't started drifting yet. It's it's a hurricane. It's literally, yeah, Marcus, how's it going, dude? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, dude? Me and Marcus haven't been to a drift event in so long, and it's Hurricane Rod Knock. Here it is, the Magic 8-Ball. Don't lie, baby. We're out. At least we don't need a tat. We got the trailer. We're good to go. So this is great. Gotta be careful with that throttle. Dude, I'm just, uh, this thing? Third gear, literally 10%. Just coast around. That's what it's gonna be like. I don't know what it's gonna be like with a two. Oh, yo. <laughs> this is only happening because we're here, right? <laughs> oh no. Shit. Well, at least my windows work. Everything works. We were semi prepared. Other than the cracked windshield, we're good, man. <laughs> this on the other hand, I don't know what's happening over here. <laughs> you need sandbags. <laughs> this sucks. Marcus, how do you feel right now? Uh, like every other time I've gone to the countdown, really. <laughs> Why does this happen, dude? Well, how often has it been raining in Florida? Not very often. <laughs> Not nothing. And it's literally a hurricane, dude. This sucks. The driver's meeting starting in 20 minutes. We're gonna all stay in the pouring rain. Yo, for real, I'm about to get a tube and this is like a lazy river waterfall. What the hell? Shit's flooded. This is ridiculous. We haven't even started drifting yet. Nice, real nice. So guys, quick little update for you. Yes, as you can see, it's still pouring rain, but the show must go on. Um, I'm gonna continue to stay in A class for this car just because I feel really comfortable with it already. I've driven this car a hundred times. I know how I'm gonna perform in this car. Or at least I think I know how I'm gonna perform, right? But I wanted to step this down to B just because I haven't drifted it with the setup. And to be honest, man, I'm really nervous to, to know what gear to be drifting in. And like, and I know it's only gonna take me a couple laps to be able to figure that out, but I don't wanna be able, to, I don't wanna cut into my A time trying to figure out this car, so. We get to drive B on that and then A on this. I just think it makes the most sense. And if if I, 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 I really do feel like I'm gonna spin out a few times in this car and I don't wanna hold up the A drivers if I'm gonna be spinning out, so. And it's fucking pouring, so all my confidence faded away to complete rubbish. Dude, we can't win at all today, all right? We're here, we were here an hour and a half early, right? We got here at 3.30. They changed the event schedule for instead of four to five. So we sat in the truck in line for an hour and a half, right? We get here, it's pouring rain. Okay, fine, whatever. Now, me and Jordan, we're sitting in the truck. 
at first we could see kind of half the track i'm just trying to watch c group to see how the outlay is um and that black truck moved up since that black truck moved up then marcus moved up once marcus moved up all we can see is this little corner right here once marcus moved up we got this red ford <laughs> that just pulled up as well <laughs> now we can't see anything but right there and it's raining so we don't want to go outside it's great great Dude, we spent a whole week prepping for this. How do you feel right now? <laughs> Fulfilled. <laughs> Fulfilled. Oh, damn it. I hate driving in the rain because it's like, you get to feel the car, but do you really get to feel the car? You know what I mean? Like, I want to feel the grip. I want to feel what we can do different and try to change the car up. But really, it's we're just going to go out in a shit show, and I'm terrified. I don't know if A group is just all tandem. I don't want to tandem out in the pouring rain, especially just getting back in the car and everything. I don't know. I don't know anything. All right? So, whew, this is fun. <sighs> well, we worked all week to get to where we are right now. I am pooping my pants right now. I ain't even gonna lie. I just haven't drifted in such a long time and ah. Oh, Marcus is up right now. He ain't doing bad. Second gear, it's too short, and then third gear, it's gonna be, especially in the rain, the wheel speed's just gonna be too high and it's just gonna wanna spin out. So I'm gonna really have to play with it and try to figure it out, but um, we might go for it here. It depends on how the lap is. Team no grip. I felt 
oh my god i felt way more confident that lap it felt a lot cleaner i think we could start to push the entries a little faster going into it i'm feeling better we're getting it we're learning we, we gotta we gotta relearn the steps i haven't been drifting for a long time i don't just want to go in big dick swinging you know what i mean so we're gonna take it slow we're gonna have some fun you just learn all right ladies and gents third lap right now third lap I got you on the ghost cam, bro. Ooh. Spooky tire pressure. Wait, can you look into this? Is your eye, wait, I wanna see if your eyes glow. Yeah, <laughs> you look possessed. You coming back home with us? All right, guys, so I haven't been filming too much here, but um, we went up with the E36. It just wasn't doing good, and I signed up for A-Class, and I, it, it, the car wasn't performing how I wanted it to, and I just didn't wanna keep wasting people's time, so I hopped off. At the end of the night, they just have an open grid, so we're gonna go ahead. I lowered the tire pressure in the front a little bit. I think I'm missing front grip because maybe it's just so gripped up in the rear that I was just pushing it forward. I really don't know. We're gonna just have to figure it out, but I'm up again with the Ricer Miata. 
gonna be honest, dude, this car feels sick. And I'm really happy because the um, track is dried and everything. So now we're just ready to go. We'll see what happens. So the track is mostly dry now, so we're gonna give it, we're gonna give it a shot, see what happens. It's gonna be a lot different, but I'm just gonna go full full send around here and hope for the best, really. <laughs> actually getting down with it it just floods I don't understand we've tried to fix it in the tune and it, there's nothing to be fixed I don't know I got I gotta do things smoother that's my problem I'm really fidgety Marcus wants a tandem I'm just gonna chase him I'm not gonna try to get close to him or anything I want to feel it out I don't want to do anything crazy so we can give it a try hopefully we don't onion and cam it you know what I mean all right boys here we go I'm a little nervous because I don't really know Marcus's drive style. We haven't driven in a while. In forever, actually. I think once or twice, to be exact. So, this is definitely going to be different. It's probably going to be a disaster, but we'll see. I'm going to, like, try to be near him, but not at the same time. We'll just see what happens. I'll feel it out. situation I'm just not gonna drift until I'm ready to like get next to him again if that makes sense I'm not trying to ruin his car I'm not trying to ruin my car but I would like to get a little um tandem going just to practice it and see like other people's lines and stuff and see how we can um kind of work together you know hey right, boys we're back up in the front we'll see what happens this time around I definitely feel like I went backwards coming from the drift car to now I can't talk, we're actually up next, fuck.
sick. Me and him killed it that round. I don't give a fuck what the haters say. We fucking killed it. Damn, that was fun. Woo! That was adrenaline for sure. The gearing is a... If, if we could fix that little bog, like that, that flooding the cylinders in third gear when I shift, I felt it a little that time too. If we can fix that, this thing, this thing, she will get down. Shit, that was good. Dude, yeah. we, we were pretty close that run. I know. I felt good that one. Sucks that was the last one. I know. I kind of want to go over there with the LS car and just do a fat fucking burnout. Smoke them and let this thing on fire. You know what I mean, Mike? Yeah, I know Look, what you mean. Look, Mike's fucking here, I came dude. out. I wanted to say hi. Hell yeah. I like, I like your sweatshirt. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's hell yeah. Good. I'm all shaky and I'm, I'm stressed the fuck out, dude. I haven't done this in a long time. It's definitely hard getting used to again this car is completely different than this car like this car i feel like it's a lot more floaty and like you can kind of float around the turns this thing is a snappy monster i feel like if you make like just a slight adjustment this thing just wants to snap around and obviously the wheelbase is way shorter and stuff but like i don't remember it being this snappy like back in the day but who knows maybe i just suck way more power too much power yeah way too much all right guys well it is 11 14 at night right now this is going to be another 5 a.m or but it's okay i really want to drive this car right now but we put so much work and so much effort into this car i think it would be very wrong of me not to go out one more time with it and just i didn't really give it a chance i just felt like weird because i was in a class and i just kept fucking up and i just didn't want to look like a moron so i just i just hopped out of it but we're it's it's 11 15 now so it's just open drift so it's just everyone so i'm just gonna go out there because it doesn't matter at this point <laughs>
That was fucking awesome. Holy crap, dude. Woo! Oh, it's 11.55. I'm going to try to get one more in there. That was good. We were humming, boy. All right, boys. Last run. I'm, I might spin out. We're just going to go full sand. So we made it back to the shop safe and sound. We didn't get home until like 3.30 in the morning last night and it was freaking hectic. But I had so much fun. It motivated me so much more to get this car even more dialed, to get the Ricer Miata even more dialed. And um, I've been talking to Marcus and we're really going to try to shoot for a private day. I'm really trying to go for before the end of this month. I really would like to do that, get a lot of seat time. And um, we definitely need it. I'm very happy that six months ago, you know, we had the injury and here we are, we're already back drifting. It feels really good. When I was injured and I was just sitting around doing nothing, it felt like it was just gonna be forever. And here we are, we're doing things. I'm still obviously not 100% or anything like that, but we're getting closer and closer every single day. Every time I go to physical therapy, there's always like an extra thing that I can do. And um, it's definitely motivating. So if you guys are injured out there, if you're watching this and you're in pain, just know that just keep pushing and um sooner or later it's gonna go away but i think we're gonna end the video right here let me know what you guys liked about this video what you didn't i know i could have had more angles and stuff to be honest i was really just trying to focus on drifting and my anxiety was so bad because i haven't drifted in forever that i was really just trying to focus on like don't mess up you know but um regardless it was a lot of fun hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys tomorrow getting a new engine for the crx peace out so stoked to get back at LSW and just to drive overall. Um, I'm planning on also going to the firm this weekend, hopefully as well. So definitely stay tuned. We got a lot planned for this weekend, or this week, I'm sorry. And I'm just super stoked. Thank you guys for watching till the end. Say um, corn the long ways in the comment. I don't know.